Hi there, welcome back to Trek Sumo. So today we're going to be reviewing this. It's the, well, there's a light shining on the screen, it's the T-Rex Pro from Zep Health. And it's a lightweight, relatively low cost sports watch. Okay, got that out of the way. Let's look at it. Okay, so what you can now see in the window is the front side of the T-Rex Pro. You'll notice there are four buttons around the outside, and these are used to navigate the system, turn the light on, change settings, and start and stop activities. One feature that some people will like is that this is a touchscreen watch as well. Now, I've steered clear of buying touchscreens in the past because I was always concerned that the screens could be easily damaged or cracked. But in the past couple of months I've owned this watch, it's actually been really impressive and uh, it's taken a few knocks and there's not a scratch on the screen yet. Do I keep saying phone? So the four buttons are on the top left, we have the up button, top right, we have a down button. On the top right, we have select and on the bottom right, we have back. But the top left button also acts as a light button. So if the light doesn't automatically turn on when you tilt your wrist over to look at the screen, then you can uh, press that button to illuminate the, the, the screen and see to change settings or to see the current state of your activity. Okay, by swiping down, we can now access the settings page of the watch. If you have a look at the screen now, you'll see various different options. We've got a, a lock screen, we've got a theatre mode, we've got brightness settings. I'm not going to go through each of those. I mean, they're all personal choices. You can change them, you can leave them as they are. It's up to you. Personally, I haven't changed them since I bought the phone because it just works for me and it works the way I want to. The only niggle I do have is about the unlock function, which can be a bit fiddly at times, but you know, should you buy one of these watches, then you'll learn all about that. By swiping up, we can see some additional features. So we have steps counted. Uh, we also, and this is called an activity goal. We also have uh, a weather forecast. And if you look here, we can see uh, a pulse oximeter. Uh, this, this, is, um, this is to do with the amount of oxygen that your, your blood absorbs and the phone actually detects this via the sensors on the back. And if you look at the image now, you can see that the sensor array on the back of the, the watch, it's pretty much standard. Um, most phones have them, maybe a slightly different layout. Now, the interesting feature here is something called PAI. This is also known as Personal Activity and Intelligence. Now, according to the ZEP, documentation, the higher your heart rate for a longer period of time, the more health benefits. And we do know that cardiovascular fitness is incredibly important, but ZEP are suggesting that by having your heart rate running very high for a long period of time could potentially increase your lifespan by eight years. Um, <laughs> I'm not 100% convinced, it's just something to be aware of um, and it's useful for, for tracking your intensity of your sessions. So if you have a planned intensity over a period of time, you can actually use this as a gauge to see how you're performing. But as, as a, a way of suggesting that you're going to live longer, that's debatable. Now, if we swipe right, you'll see notifications. Uh, just a point to note, for these to work, you have to have your watch connected to your phone to be able to pull messages from Instagram, text messages, etc, etc. It's a useful feature. I mean, I have this enabled on my Garmin Phoenix 6. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit irritating, but you know, if you want to switch it on, that's great. If not, you can actually disable this. By swiping left, you can drill even further down into the menu system. And this is where we can configure options or, or review settings or workouts, etc. So again, we can see the weather, but we can also look at um, the workouts we've done. We can track our activities. There's a compass here. Uh, one thing I do like, and this is available on many of the 
more modern um, sports watches is the ability to find your phone. So when you connect your phone and the watch together via an app, you can uh, activate this. Uh, it's essentially, it's like an alarm. Uh, it's a bit like um, iPhones find my phone. So you press this, somewhere your phone will make a noise and hopefully it's in your house or in your car or maybe in one of your boots, which is where I found my phone recently. But it's, it's a great way of um, of uh, being able to locate your phone if you've forgotten where you put it. Okay, so probably one of the most important questions you have is, how do I start an activity? Well, if you press the top right button and you'll notice that the screen changes and there are numerous activities you can choose from. So using the up and down buttons on the left hand, the, uh, left hand side of the watch, you can scroll through and choose the activity you want. I think as of now, there are something like 50 different activities. Uh, some of them, I question whether they're necessary. So for example, there's an activity called walking, but there's also an activity called hiking. <laughs> Personally, I don't see a big difference between the two because you're probably going to be outside, um, carrying a weight on your back, uh, traveling f across rugged terrain, or maybe not. But either way, it's a form of walking. So yeah, some of the activities, it's questionable as to why they've, they've broken them out into multiple different styles. If any of you know, please tell me in the comments below, that would be really useful. Anyway. As you can see, I've just selected the running option. And if you look at the screen now, we've got a couple of different things or points to note. So on the top left, you'll see the little GPS icon flashing. And this is the phone trying to acquire a GPS signal. Uh, best done outside, doesn't always work too well indoors. And a big go button. So you can start this activity just by pressing the, the top right button, or in this case, just pressing the screen on the big go icon. Now if you look at the screen again you'll see that I've just paused the activity and at this point you have the option of continuing or saving. As I said some of the the functionality in the watch is is quite basic but that's all that most people need. Uh, some of the higher end watches like the Garmin Phoenix have the option to save for later, pause, save. Uh, so it's a mild difference between uh, the, the different models and, and makes of uh, a watch. Personally, I find this is more than adequate. I think on, with my Garmin, I've used the resume later once in the what, over a year that I've now had, uh, owned the phone. So how do you access your activities? Well, if you swipe left and then scroll down, you'll see this option here, workout records either tap on this or click on it and it will show you all the activities or all the workouts you've carried out for um, I think it's up to 28 days. Now if you scroll through, tap on each one, you'll see a record of your heart rate, distance, um, there's a mini map, um, everything that you'd expect in a, in a sports watch. Now, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see some information around the heart rate, which I find really useful because it breaks it down into a, a nice, easily read format. And you can see maximum heart rate, anaerobic, aerobic. Uh, and this is, this is just a really nice way of presenting the data. Some of the phones, I, uh, watches, some of the watches that I've used, uh, I don't like the layout, I don't like the format, but Zep Health have got this right. And uh, what I'm even more impressed with is the Zep Health app, which we'll come on to shortly. Now, before we move on, I'd just like to talk about the watch in general. Um, one of the things I first noticed when I got it out of the box is how lightweight it feels, and it feels kind of plasticky. Um, and you're almost frightened that it might break, but don't be frightened. The T-Rex Pro conforms to mil standard 18, which is another way of saying how tough is this item. And the watch has been shown to exceed that standard by many times. So it's an incredibly rugged watch. 
Also, the straps are held in place by pins which are unlocked with Allen keys, which is, you know, that's that's a pretty rugged design. Um, I would say it's comparable in strength to the system on the Garmin, Garmin Phoenix watches, which I haven't had any problems with whatsoever. Now, again, before we move on, something else I'd just like to mention right now is, is the display. So as you've noticed as we were scrolling through, there are very vivid colors. Um, this is brilliant. I, I like my Garmin, but I prefer the colors on the T-Rex Pro because they're, they're striking and they really stand out. So it makes the display very, very easy to read. And Zep Health, I think what they've done during the design process is they've, they've used the coloring so that the eye is drawn, you know, your eye is drawn to each of the settings so they can be picked out very, very easily as you scroll through the phone menu system and, and through your activities. So this is brilliant. I love this aspect of the phone. One final note about the watch. Uh, yeah, this is the final one about the watch. The default watch face is, it's not pretty. It's it's very basic. It's, all, it's almost militaristic. It looks like a, a military watch. This can be changed, but in the menu system, there are only a few options. So if you want some additional faces for this watch, then you'll need to download them via the app. It's not a big deal, but it's just something I wasn't really impressed with. Um, I, I thought Zep could have done something better considering how much effort they've gone into um, engineering a, a really good sports watch. Okay, let's take a look at the Zep Health app. Now, when you first open the Zep Health app, you'll notice there's, there's nothing really special about it. Like any other good app, it pulls all the data from the watch and then orders it in a way that's generally pretty easy to use. Um, I use Garmin Connect for my Garmin. I, I just like the app and it works really well. Now the key difference here is around how that data is presented when you enter into an activity. If you look at the screen now, you'll see that I've gone into one of my activities, which was a run. Now, when you use something like Garmin Connect, across the top you have a series of different menu options that allow you to drill down into things like cadence, average heart rate during your activity, etc., etc. What's really nice about the Zep Health app is that you just scroll all the way through. You don't need to, to navigate to different uh, functions or settings in the app in order to view that data in a way that with the watch itself, the display is, it's, like I said, the display is fantastic. I love display. And it's the same with the Zep Health app. In terms of aesthetics, they've done an amazing job. So what do I think of the T-Rex Pro? It's cheap, low cost I mean. It's incredibly rugged. The display is fantastic. Um, and it, it does what it, said it, it says it does on the tin. The only discrepancy I found is this. The GPS doesn't quite match uh, the GPS tracking on my Garmin. Now, I'm not sure if this is because the T-Rex Pro uses maybe a slightly older um, and less accurate GPS module. It could just simply be uh, due to the number of um, satellites that is picked up. But what I have found is that initially when I set off on an activity, say a run or a walk, for the first couple of hundred meters, the T-Rex Pro is a little bit slow working out how much distance you've covered. Now, over a period of time, it does level off to the point that it's pretty much the same as the Garmin that I have, the, the Phoenix 6, but there's still a slight discrepancy. So I can find uh, maybe a 20 meter difference between the distances I've done. So, and that's even with stopping, turning off one watch, turning off one, the other watch. And yes, I did wear two watches on a run to test them. Um, to, to be able to get a view. So that's the only issue. Apart from that, fantastic watch. Well done, Zep. If you've liked this review, hit the like button, um, follow us, 
come to Trek Sumo, we've got stacks of reviews there to, to go through. Um, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.